All right, so today we're going to be putting in an Elo and Elo shower panel again, but I'm going to try to record this differently. So here's our water supplies here, which will 90 out. We'll adapt and I'll show you as we go. So it's going to go right there. Here's all the tools you'll need to do this. This is the panel, the box. What I'll do is I'll set you up to where you can see me make it. All right, so now we got it all in the box and see what we got. So this is your shower. This is going to be your shower head and the rainfall. Then down here on the bottom, you have a tub spout. Four adjustable body sprays. This is your temperature setting. And these are three of your functions for your tub spout, your handheld, and your adjustable body sprays. Then you've got your second function here, which is off on, is up. And then you've got your shower head. And over here to the right, you've got your rain head. And then down here, you've got your last function, which is your full chest body spray, which is amazing. And then up here, I'll show you when I get it running. This is an aquatic thermostat. And it keeps your temperature setting, keeps your time, how long you've been in the shower, and so on and so forth. So now let's set it up and start putting it together. All right, so first thing you're going to do, you're going to take these four screws off here. You're going to get your shower head, and you're going to pull these screws off here. Then you're going to slide the head in, and you're going to run your hoses through. Now that I've got my two ends off here and here, this is the top side of the shower panel, shower head. This is going to be your waterfall, and this is going to be your, your uh, shower head. I'm going to run these lines through here, through here, into here. Then one more small thing before you set it in here. you got to pull these two screws out because these screws will secure the head in right here. Okay, once you get your head in, get your hoses through, you get your electrical fed back down, you're going to secure the two screws back here which hold the shower head in place. Then you need to follow your white hoses back and figure out on this side and, and this side which one is the shower head and which one is the waterfall. When I say that, this is the shower head, this is the waterfall. So in the panel settings, right here, that's your waterfall and then your shower head's on this side. Once you do that, you'll cut your hoses to length. You'll get your two hose clamps that comes with it here. Put them on and secure them. Once you get your hoses to link and you clamp them on, you get them snug, use a screwdriver, don't use a drill because it can over tighten them. You run your power cord down here to the connector and connect it. And then you'll get your panel here and this panel and reinstall them. Now we've got our two ends on, capped up, capped up, screwed in, hooked up, hooked up. We're going to do our handheld here. So this is going to go here. We have this piece here, the nut and the washer. The washer and nut go in the back, and this goes here like this. So right here like this. And these two will go from below, like so. Okay, so now that's installed. See that pretty thing right there? You'll get your handheld hose here. And then this part here will screw to the bottom of this. And this part right here cup will go into the bottom of the handheld so it clips inside of here. Now that we got most of this tightened up, what we're going to do is go through here with our Phillips screwdriver and just snug up every one of these just to make sure nothing is loose, nothing's going to leak, nothing's kinked, so on and so forth. Now we got everything tightened up, we're going to measure to here and to here. I'm going to put two clamps on the wall in the bathroom there and there support this filter here. So first thing you want to do is we're going to measure from the bottom all the way to the top and we've got let's see, 55 inches and to the bottom tab we've got four and a quarter and to this one you've got 46 and a half. Next thing you want to do once you get your panel built is get your two brackets in here. I go center and then go two inches each way. Do it there, do it on top and you measure your panel. It's 42 and a quarter from each. Then you'll cut your water lines and you'll put a 90 on them, stubbed out, 90 stubbed out with a metal adapter. The step is get your 90s water lines turned out with metal adapters on the end, Teflon piped open. And next you'll need a helper to hang the panel. And once you get your helper, do this, your hanger, and there you go. A beautiful panel. 
All right, now I'm gonna give you the rundown of the LO and Allo shower, shower panel once it's installed. So you've got your, your waterfall, your shower, and all these lights are LED, so they'll all light up when you run it. Same here, your body sprays, your adjustable body sprays here, your controls, your temperature control, and your tub spout. So check this out. So same spot on, you see all these lights light up, and then you've got this, your timer, and your temperature setting. So let's, let's turn it up a little bit. So here's the coolest part. So you turn it off. It's all done. And then you leave your you find your temperature you like. You leave it alone. Turn it back on. Automatically goes back to it. They're all adjustable. Last but not least, the little handheld. Cool part about the handheld, it's got a function here at the bottom. I gotta get it set up so you can see it. Does the mist combo. Quite awesome. Hello and hello, everybody.